Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool and welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to a Funko review and unboxing video and I'm really excited. Woo! I am Jonesy, you can hear it in my voice, I'm really really hyped to talk about this guy right here. The Batman Gotham by Gaslight, which is part of the DC NFT series, Funko series number one. They have series number two now, that came out months and months ago. I've been waiting months to do this physical review, because I finally got my redeem pop, this guy right here. Now you may not know about NFTs, they're basically... A you think of it as kind of like stocks. You get an image or a picture that is a collectible. The ideas are collectibles. In Funko's case, you can redeem them for physical products like this guy right here. You basically burn. You basically turn in a token that allows you to get the physical product. They have about five different products you could have gotten in Series 1. This happens to be the Batman Gotham by Gaslight version, which is one of the really highly sought after versions that people really want to get their hands on. And you may not know about the whole Batman Gotham by Gaslight, what it's all about. Just give you guys a, an update on it. The idea is basically Batman in the 19th century. Think of it as like Victorian times, steampunk era. He's basically in Gotham at the 19th century looking for Jack the Ripper. And it's a story they did in a comic and they adapted it to a DC animated movie. It's a really cool movie. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Also put a link above my head. If you want to see how I actually got my hands on this guy right here, I highly recommend watching that particular video because I talk about the problems with the DC NFTs, which was a huge issue and me pulling this physical product here on the actual stream it was a really really cool experience I highly highly recommend it I'll put both links above my head so you can click those videos I re again I recommend watching those before you watch this one so we do a full breakdown of this particular pop. We do a breakdown version on my channel. We always look at the packaging and presentation. And the packaging is really, really kind of eye-catching. It's a little bit different than we've seen for Funko products before because it is an NFT. It's important. You want it to make, you know, it's worth a decent amount of money on the secondary market. It looks really, really cool. So let's really break this thing down here. So the packaging in the corner here, we have Pop Digital. We have, again, this is all, there's a lot of foil treatment, which I'll kind of highlight the foil treatments that you see. We have, of course, the Batman logo, number 30, which is kind of like a foil treatment around the around the edging here looks really really good nice window box display of Batman you have a side shot right here the all-important NFT elite get away so you can see the glare the NFT sticker which shows there was only 2,050 pieces made for this particular product and once those tokens were burned or not burned that's how many products are physically available we do have Batman Gotham by Gaslight which says it right there in foil treatment on this side, again, foil treatment as well. You can feel the foil that's kind of raised up on the packaging. It's usually around the edge of the character. Again, Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Over here, again, Batman Gotham by Gaslight right here. Another foil treatment. And the pack of the packaging is really neat because it showcases the card you would have received, the redeemable token itself when you would have burned it. And you keep this on what they call the Atomic Hub website and on the drop aisle where you actually have your uh, repository of all the things you have collected. If you would have turned the, the token in or not, you still contain and keep the artwork, which is really, really neat. So let's put them on my little turntable so you can spin them around 360 so you can see what it looks like spinning around. Really cool idea. As far as NFTs go, um, I, there's both good parts and bad parts with NFTs. Funko really jumped on the market to do the whole NFT thing here. And the biggest concern I have with NFTs is they do them, every, I think every single month there's an NFT drop and it gets old really, really fast. However, these are really highly sought after because there's a very small piece count. Again, there's only 2,050 pieces they would have made uh, worldwide for this particular release. And once you've either collected it and turned the token in or didn't, that's how many physical pops are available. So if let's say 1,500 of them were burned or redeemed. There's only 1,500 of the 2,050 in this particular example. I don't know how many physical items were physically redeemed, but it's, it's a smaller, smaller uh, pool of items. It makes this more highly softer and really highly collectible. With that being said, guys, let's get the Batman Gotham by Gaslight out of packaging and continue the breakdown segment. All right, guys, we have our Batman Gotham by Gaslight pop out of packaging. Next, we do take a pop out of packaging. We look at the paint and articulation. Let's really focus on that head sculpt. It looks really good. Again, the, the attention to detail and design here looks like something out of let's say the 19th century more steampunk design that's where it's coming from they took a lot of liberty from that design you can see from the cow here right here across the top it has a lot of stitch work where he kind of made this by hand it looks really really neat this has a lot of dark grays and light green tones uh, he's kind of in this, this really cool combat stance he's kind of more squat to the ground uh, the bat symbol right there the black bat symbol again you see these stuff on the utility belt looks really really good his hands are out sort of an open hand right there and he has a fist on that side there is articulation he does have really high horns right here on his cowl but you can spin his head 360 with no hindrance he's not a bobblehead looks really good the cape
shape is kind of billowing to the side here like it got caught in the wind like he's about to you know get into combat with somebody but he's a small looking pop smaller than I originally thought in the packaging when I took him out and looked at it and held it in my hands he's more squat than your typical Batman pop obviously the Batman pop maybe is a little bit taller and a little thicker and bulkier this is more of a slimmed version of Batman or Bruce Wayne back in the, again the 19th century that steampunk era it looks really really neat I really liked it again the attention to detail the large horns on the cowl the stitch work on again the top of the of the cowl itself right looks really really neat again really kind of slick design very very streamlined uh, again again dark color grays light color grays throughout the entire pop here let's kind of put them on turntable again spin them in 360 so you can get a full <coughs> look of the pop itself looks really really good i like again the attention to detail that funko did with this nft it looks really really neat i like the design work again it looks something from a different era again it looks more low tech more steampunky as far as the look and feel of it again the dark colored utility belt the kind of the gadgets on the side on his pouches looks really really neat again i like what they did with funko they took that design from the comic and the cartoon and did it in vinyl figure form it looks really really neat now as far as my final thoughts go about nfts um I think, again, I mentioned in the earlier portion of the video, if you're still here, definitely smash that like button, click subscribe. Um, as I mentioned before, in the earlier parts of the video, I think they're doing a lot of NFTs nowadays. I think they're doing too many of them. They're not making them feel special any longer. But this was, again, was 2,050 pieces made. And I talked about, again, at the beginning of the video, that people might not have cashed all those or burned those tokens. So there might be literally less than 2,050 pieces. It could be, let's say, 2,000 pieces or 2,025 pieces. There would not be more more than 2,050 pieces worldwide. Now, as far as looking in the secondary market, I did a little bit of research before shooting this video, and I checked about what the cost is for this guy here. I've seen prices ranging from about 100, about 125 to 150, up to as high as about $200 on the secondary market. I think he's a really cool pop. Really neat that I actually got my hands on something that was digital and physically got a physical redeemable pop. That, I think, is the coolest part of the process, to get the physical item that I saw as a token or as a collectible to cash it out to get this product here. So I do hope you liked this video presentation of the Batman Funko DC Series 1 Gotham by Gaslight version of the Batman Pop. Click that like button by the page. It will help this video tremendously get traction on YouTube. Click the subscribe button picture my face, which is circle. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell, kind of be notified of latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you'll click windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye.